What's that? You can get the beams with a little bit if you want to. Off the bridge. Oh. Will it do a kick down? Mm. <laughs> oh, there it is! Oh, B-body. <laughs> <laughs> we may put these windows up just for a little bit, so Go, GoPros the adore, uh, they adore the wind, yeah. If you want to uh, unlock it, flip, flip the switch. Oh. A little toggle switch right there. Yep. All right, oh, uh, rider. Oh, what the hell? Uh, left, left, all that's car. Okay, that, I'm clicking a thing that says lockout. Huh. That's weird. Alright, flick it up on your side. Alright. I may have taken out the switch. Oh well. This is a B body. Radio. Is this one of these radios that's always on and you can never turn it off? No. Oh, okay. We did two B bodies before. Once a Caprice that was uh, a Philadelphia special. And then there was the Buick Cam Master, which is also a B body. And now I'm in a, ah, oh gosh, 96. 93. 93! 93. 93. Well, that's a testament to this, that it's so clean on the inside, that this is a 93 Chevrolet Caprice. I, was this one they were calling it the classic? Yes, it is. It's got it on it's, the back, yeah. It's got it right there for the passenger. It just falls off the hill. Okay, thank you. No problem. The, one of the things that's unique and I'm noticing just now that even though this is early 90s with the big pillowcase airbag and they didn't figure out how to put the horn nope. here, they're down here on the little thumb buttons, the steering wheel is still very thin. So there is a slight classic feel because one of the things you get in old cars, oh, that's a Buick uh, Regetta. Regretta, Regetta. I saw one of them back at my parents' house from time to time. I'm in Wilkes-Barre, <laughs> Pennsylvania, or should I say Wilkes-Barre? Bear, Berry, Bar, what? I'm going up to Wilkes-Barre. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where people get, I think I hear that, like, people from Jersey say that a lot. Mmm. I mean, that's the only way I know. Yeah, I made a joke a million years ago about Dixon City, <laughs> which is a little north. I north live right here. I live up towards that area. Oh, yeah. You know Holmesdale? No. All right, big one, Paul Pack. That sounds familiar. I live right down. I live about forty minutes away from the one, Paul Pack, in a little homestead. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the suspension! I just want to aim for gutters. <laughs> and part of the reason, or most of the reason, why these suspensions were so good is that the wheelbase for this car is so far in front of you, mm. as opposed to smaller cars when you hit bumps. There's not. And people say, we would talk about body flex like it's a bad thing, right? Right? Uh, body flex, yeah. That thing, what we just went over, would have shaken the Honda Fit like crazy. Oh, yeah. Do you still have the seat belts for the middle here? Yes, I they, do, sir. They tuck down in there. Yeah, I hit them in there. Where do we want to go now? Straight up the hill. Straight up the hill. We'll take up the Giants' spare. Oh. Wait, is there a place? No, I'm thinking of somewhere. No, that's somewhere near Hazleton, where there's a bunch of cars like on a skewer by the, on the side of 81. No, that's yeah. It's actually, no, you're right. That is down towards A's Hazleton. The um, the uh, what the heck was it? Yeah, that was a. Oh god, it's like a, for a junkyard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I'll warn you too. We don't have ABS. Okay. The ABS for the Caprice is always changed because the government would get, I'm not the government, well the cops programs would try and get new parts every year mm -hmm. and look it up. I was told by a guy that has like three of these, mm -hmm. just pull the fuse. Really? For the ABS. They go, you, trying to track down parts for that thing mm -hmm. is impossible. Mm. So it just breaks. <laughs> yeah, you just pull the fuse, I pull the light bulb and I'm like, drive it like a man. It's just like my Toyota Echo from 2002, no ABS. <laughs> They're called lockup brakes. <laughs> oh, I learned that the hard way when oh. I was. Oh. Yeah, she had she was a little bit of fender bender. Mm. Well, she, um, we were, I was commuting uh down in Wilkes over mm -hmm. the summer for a summer class, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden this lady in some stupid Jeep Compass just stopped short. Oh yeah. And I had a decent distance. Right. And the thing just locked up, and exactly what happened, just slid right into the oh, back. Oh gosh, like, darn it. So what we did was we bended out the thing, bought a new headlight, and, <laughs> well, the resistor's going, so there you go. Ah. Yeah. Anybody behind me? 
Yeah. I am going kind of slow, aren't I? Oh, yeah. this now, if you want to pull in here and like stop for a second, this yeah. is where the actual grounds where they hold the race. What race? Giants Fair. You're at the hill climb right now. Oh, oh, this is where the race would start. Yep, right here. Here, they close the road. Yep. And then you head up this hill. All right, there's the kick down. What's the speed limit here? Uh, Doesn't say. I don't see any signs. Haven't seen any signs. Okay, the Nissan Xterra behind us is getting farther behind us, and that's good. Oh, 15 going to that turn. Oh, body roll. <laughs> oh man, the cam, the cam master would be pretty good. Oh my god, the cam master here would be really amazing. Now, a lot of body roll. Oh. <laughs> There we go. I can see why the T56 transmission would be delightful in this, although this is not the LT. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm leaning myself as if my 180 pound ballast would. You feel like you're driving an old race car. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <sighs> That's probably first gear down I again. Oh, okay. I don't come up here that often, so I don't know. Okay. Know out perfectly. Well, they're, well, they're, uh, yeah. they're can can cantilevered in. Actually, this is a really nice road. Yeah. It's gonna be more fun going down. <laughs> oh, speed limit 25? Wow. They really want you to chug up this. I wonder if this will stay in lower gears. Can I shift down or no? I wouldn't, I've never okay. done it. I don't wanna risk it. Oh, we'll kick down then. All right, where's that Xterra behind me? I wonder if they're gonna go slow. See, we have it on 30. I'm pressing my foot down further. It's still staying in that gear. When is it gonna kick? When floor. is it gonna kick? All the way to the floor. There's the kick down. That's and, a finish. Oh. That was a finish. Oh, they just had stuff spray painted on the Yeah, that's there. Welcome to Wilkes-Barre. Oh. They don't know how to do it. So we gotta find a place to turn around. Turn around. Let's go around on this road a little bit. We can turn around. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, now we get to descend. A tack would, well, it's kind of goes against the point of this car. Even the cam master had a big tachometer right there so you could keep your eye on what the engine well, was doing. If I get an LT1, yeah, I'm putting a tack. <laughs> it's not even a question of what an LT1 is. All right, this is a tighter one. Looking through the term. This is a nice road. It is. One of Wilkes Bear's little gems. I, so uh, to put things in, uh, Chronological context, the reason I'm up here in Wilkes-Barre is that we are at the car show for the American Association of Mechanical Engineers. Yes, sir, for Wilkes uh, University. Now, when I got there, uh, it was fun. It was my first time being a car judge, and what I learned is quit yakking with the driver because it was me who held up the awards because uh, I thought I did. What happened is I was assigned a row of cars to do. Fine, judge these cars. You guys gave me a, a rubric to, uh, to grade with. And, but what happened is I just started in the middle of the row and worked my way out to one side. When I got to the end of the outside, the food was there. The food showed up. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, hey, calories. And then I forgot I only did half a row. And then the president came by and says, hey, what what, what the hell? <laughs> so like three people had to help me pick up the slack. And you'd think I'd learn to quit yakking with people, but I didn't. Because especially when you meet a nice, nice old man who has his life, his heart and soul into a car and you want to talk to him forever. And I met a few of them, and one of them was the one I gave my special award to. Oh, turn around. There's a spot right there. Right where? Uh, there was right there. Well, okay. Yeah, Tell me where there is where. <laughs> okay. I'll give you here? Up here? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Is that okay that that's dirt? Yeah. It's... Okay. Just don't bottom around. Okay. Slowing down. Oh, that's going to be a drop off, isn't it? Uh, okay, you can do it. So I am going to do a many point turn I to get out of here. Say it, yeah. It's funny. I learned it the hard way. Is it very low? Okay. I don't know where the back of the car is. Somewhere back there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the left where the curb is lower. Ooh. 
Yeah, didn't know. Didn't down. know. A, didn't, didn't know where the stop stop was there. Yeah, I got drive and then one. Two. Yep. That's right. Mm, 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 mm. No one there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna break stand it, but I am gonna get on it. That's <laughs> fine. But to be honest with you, this is probably underneath. It's a truck. Mm -hmm. Honestly, this thing is like a shit brick house. <laughs> you could fight them a day long. Yeah. yeah, I do that going on the highway to scare people sometimes. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, where'd that Acura come from? Out of nowhere. Uh, and he's gonna have good brakes, so he is gonna be on me. Coming down the hill. I did stiffen up the suspension when I first got it. I put How? some KYs on it. Oh, okay. I swapped out all the shocks. I uh, swapped out all the shocks. I, uh, and we also changed a couple of the ARs and stuff. Like, you know, I'm going to turn the lights on to make myself safer. If someone, since you've had this Caprice for a while, roll turn, oh sharp, oh gravity. If someone is looking for a Caprice and uh, B bodies are aging well, yes, in that it's a size and it's a comfort and it's a smoothness that's had for very little money. And I'm talking like five thousand dollars money. Mm -hmm. That would get you a lot for a Caprice. Five thousand dollars for a respect. That's what this car's worth. Five grand? Yeah. Sweet. I've had multiple people come up and offer me. As like you said in the show, big, large, burly men come up out of very shady areas <laughs> yes. and come up to you and yes. go, I would like to buy your car. And I'm Only they don't say it that way. Yeah. They and say My wife. <laughs> and that's the entire yeah. <laughs> We're like this car. <laughs> Hey, you like that car? At least son of the Obamacare. I don't have a dental plan. <laughs> Hammer on I, the I, I got a scratch off lottery ticket, and that's how you find the pot of gold. I don't know, I'm 30% Irish. <laughs> how much? What's your bottom dollar? What's your bottom dollar? What's your bottom dollar? Well, the Kelly Blue Book says, What's your bottom dollar? My wife will do this, hand. 83 kids. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so if you want to buy a Caprice, what should you look for? What did you run into? If it's been sitting, you got to do the brake lines and the fuel lines. Mm -hmm. Very important things you got to worry about. Speaking of brake lines. <laughs> no, that's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. good. Um, you got to watch that stuff. Um, I'm, I'm pumping them, or I'm, I'm not I'm not staying on them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Brake in, accelerate out, brake in. As if, uh, 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 confidence. Yeah, right? Right? Yeah. Whew. Uh, yeah. Well, the worst part is we're on the, we're on the stock 15s that came on the car. So this does this, does this, does this thing have drums in the rear? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Yeah, if you want to pull off in the, um, what's it called? The, uh, parking lot there and you want to do an angle shot of the outside. Sure. Yeah. But um, yeah, no. Dude, it, like you were saying before, it, honest to God, it's big burly men out of nowhere. <laughs> Literally, I was in a garage at a mall, and the dude just comes up out of nowhere out of another Caprice, and he's like, "I would like to buy your car." That's his opening line. Yes, I would like to buy your car. How much do you want for it? Twenty-five hundred work for you? No. It's my baby. No. That was back when it was still uh, beat up. Cash money. Cash money. I'll give you it cash. I'll give you it cash. Ooh, ooh. What did I hit? Eh, don't worry about it. I hit Skip car. Fleet. Skip fleet. Don't worry about it. When it comes to worse, we'll just look. Okay, where is my son? My son's there. So that means I park into the sun. We did not make those burnout marks. We did not make them. Those are not us. You know, the only issues with the uh, LSD in the back of this car, mm -hmm. peg legs are what it likes to do. Mm. It's kind of sad. LSD, you said? Limited slip? Yeah, it's got a limited slip. And it still does peg legs with a limited yeah, slip. It's a very sensitive back end. Mm.
say, you are tossed about things to look for. Is that my brakes? Am I smelling the brakes on this? No, that was when I actually had to spray the undercoat of it, so it was oh. rust. The, um, the big thing to look for, every Caprice has this problem, because they use cheap steel. Yeah. This section back, and in between the wheel wells, Yeah. rust all the time. Really? You can already oh. tell, I've had this fixed up twice now. Oh, I forgot that we were taking that crazy hill on snow tires. <laughs> it's open. <okay. laughs> yeah, no. She'll handle it. Um, yeah. yeah, that's the that's the big thing you got to look for in these cars. Everywhere else, rust free. Right. Just that section of that car, for whatever reason, just enjoyed it. Man, this is really nice. Thank you. Oh. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, I can tell why the yeah, guys would come up because so many of the caprices get get used up until they die and it'll be a while before they die. So when you find one like this. Well, like I was telling you before, when I first got it, he hit everything. Oh. Everything from here was done. Then this learned from the hard way when I first bought the car. I backed it and drove it into a pole, like putting it into a gas station. Yeah. One of my best moments. Oh. These fold up. This plastic folds inside. Mm. And then rust gets in there. Oh. I fixed that. Yeah. Did you did you repaint the whole car? I had a guy. I have a specialist guy out in where I live. He's I have a guy. <laughs> I got a guy. That's actually all plastic welder. That was all beat the hell. What's plastic welder? It uh, fuses the plastic in here and it'll make it one. And then you sand it over, buff it, buff it, sand it, buff it, sand it, oh. and then repaint it, and it looks like a brand new car. Huh. That's the original bumper, and let me tell you. Really? That was the messed up bumper? That was the original messed up bumper, yeah. Wow. Yep. So is it a filler that you... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. And then, uh, then the other thing was um, this whole door, there was a dent yay big. When, mm -hmm. he, went, when he had a stroke, he drove into a mailbox. Uh-huh. So yeah. that was done. And then... Uh, there was a heart keyed into the side of it. Ah. And then, uh, just this and scratches. I was able to do as much as I could. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the hood or the roof. Yeah. So you got the, you know, the typical wear and tear scratches and stuff. Hey, the paint's better than on Silicone Sally. That thing's been the war. And backseat. Orgy. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's a, I should have warned you about that. My the, uh, your, your shoulder oh, kill you, yeah. comes in, wham. Yeah. Because these back doors don't open. That's right, the door opens, but the door is so cantilevered in like this, yeah. if you don't catch it, you're going to catch your arm right on this hard point. I took Dick's car to prom, all right? This, I, I Dick's, Dick's? Huh? Oh, this. This car, yeah. Oh, I took okay. this car to prom, all right? Girl gets in the back seat, mm -hmm. and it was me and my date, and then it was my buddy and his date. Mm -hmm. She gets in the back seat, tore her dress oh. right when we left. And we're sitting in the back, and she's sitting there like holding. I'm like, why? And she's like, the flash. She's like, oh, it tore my dress. That stupid <laughs> car tore my dress. <laughs> hey, you don't really get an appreciation for how big the caprices are until you see them in real life. Yeah, it is. Honestly, well, that... I would never trade this car. <laughs> I, I fell in love with it. Yeah. One wintery evening, <laughs> Yeah. real wheel drive came into yeah. play. And I fell in love with it yeah. right then and there. I was, I was like, I can't sell this car now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Too many memories. All right, well, thank you for letting me drive this. No problem. Yeah, you show me how you drive it on the way home. <laughs>